My name is Paul De Leo, uh, Orgorgorns University. I run the Oil and Gas Institute, which is really set up to connect the university to industry. The UK is hugely important as an oil and gas basin, so we have over 50 years of track record producing oil and gas. And during this time, we have seen many volatility cycles. The oil and gas industry is actually very good dealing with volatility. Over the last couple of years, with oil prices up, exchange rates up and down, cost up and down, we've seen around 60% volatility. And the industry has actually worked and continued to work well. And so it's an interesting, delicate balance around will Brexit actually help the industry, neutral or hinder the industry. And I think there's probably stories from all around that spectrum. There are some people who are really worried about that it might be additional cost, it might transfer additional burden, it might be on clarity around rules. But also on the other end of the spectrum, where actually it could open up markets we not currently have, it could facilitate more export, and potentially with more control over processes, it could actually help business. So I see the whole spectrum of opinions. But what people want at this point in time is, is clarity around the rules, reduce the uncertainty so they can get on with business. So this industry is a long-term industry and continuous investment is absolutely critical. We have seen over the last couple of years the industry, despite the uh, lower oil prices, actually increased production. Over the last couple of years, the production increased about 16%. It's actually been one of the fastest growing uh, major basins in the world. So the industry has done a remarkable job to get to this point. Early next decade is expected to decline again. And so what is really important is to get investment between now and 2020 in the industry. And that's of course exactly the uncertainty window around Brexit. What makes the UK a very attractive base for people to invest is that there's a very clear system in place around what a regulatory framework is. It's a very clear fiscal regime in place with a very powerful supply chain, good access to all technology and a good access to market. And that combination makes the UK an attractive place to invest, an attractive place to produce and of course also an attractive place for people to work. And what we need to make sure we do after Brexit and the transition period is that we continue to have a system in place that attracts companies to come in, attracts foreign investment, because we need that investment to make the UK oil and gas industry a success. Roughly one out of 100 people in the UK either work or support the oil and gas industry. So what the industry wants for it to be successful is of course continue to invest, but also have frictionless access to Europe for people movements and for access to goods and services. It is absolutely critical because this is such a uh, uh, capital intensive industry that we can't stop operations because something gets stuck at the border. We absolutely need to make sure that the magnets are in our place to continue our business in the best possible way. And that is a big ask for this industry to the government, but also to make sure that they understand the implications if there's an, uh, an issue or a challenge because of Brexit.